Look at this fellow all by himself over here. Hand-carved wood. He's amazing. Those eyes look very white to me. I wonder what they're made of. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Sunday afternoon and I just pulled up to Goodwill. I'm meeting Danny here. We're going to go inside and see what we can find to stock our vintage market booth and show you what we thrift and why. Let's go thrifting! This is the Centennial Goodwill location. This week, the color to be looking out for is purple. All purple tags are half off. Lucky cart. You pull it off. One okay. I'll get it off. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ooh, that's yeah. fancy. Something stuck? It's look, it's got a um it's got a hook. Oh to oh. stop it coming out. Yeah. Right at the top on the end here is a vintage globe. Globes are really fascinating because you can tell their age from the names of some of the countries. For example, Iran used to be Persia. Istanbul used to be Constantinople and Ghana used to be the Gold Coast and they changed their names at certain times. So depending on how these countries are labeled, you, you can tell just about when the globe was made. Look at this pottery alligator. He's amazing. He looks like Blue Mountain Pottery, but I don't think he is because of his rounded base. I still love him. Let's get him in the cart. Let's see what else they have. It's a cute little pumpkin there. And I like this dome. It's only 99 cents. That'd be good for display at the booth. some plates what's that that's a sand dollar creation it's quite a nice Christmas tile not very old though little candle holder fish it's quite a nice dish like the etching doesn't look like it has a maker's mark I like it though needs a good clean <laughs> and a price we'll take it with us Oh, look at this glass. This is the perfect thing for Danny's mushroom garden. It looks exactly like a toadstool cap. It's even got the right texture. She's going to love it. It's $4.99. Let's pop it in the cart and we'll take it over to her in a minute. These are wax bricks for Scentsy and other wax warmers. They used to be worth uh, lotting up and selling together, but not anymore. There's so many of them available. Oh, look at this. This is nicely hand painted. 
It's Lefton, Lefton, China. It's numbered. Really pretty pink rose design. Very nicely done. Could be used as an egg cup or even a Easter egg display for Easter. Doing my check for glassy baby candle holders. They're the hot thing at the moment. If you find a glassy baby, you really scored big. <laughs> Not seeing any here. I'm in the Christmas section and look at this mango wood candy cane. It's painted with a lovely glossy paint in the little compartments. It's $2.99. This is perfect for the holidays. Definitely grabbing that. Oops. <laughs> Also great for the holidays is a pink Christmas tree. They were all the rage last year. I just have to remember to plug it in and make sure it works. This is a really regal piece, like English crown. Unfortunately, it's really chipped in $4.99, so I'm going to leave it. There's some apples here. little pumpkin scarecrow guy back here. More candle holders. It's not shopping, it's retail therapy. Absolutely. <laughs> this is a really pretty cobalt blue vase. I'm thinking it's modern, but I'm just going to check the bottom to make sure. <laughs> yes. This is a beautiful Mexican pottery painted mug. I love the colors, the green with the yellow, the blue and the pink. Just got a bit of sticky on the rim there, but no chips, no cracks. It's a lovely piece, $2.99. Checking all the vases. Lots of clear glass. A few bits of flash colored glass here. There's a little wax warmer here. You'll see me just pick up and put down quickly these pieces because they're really lightweight and I can tell immediately that they're not good quality and I'm just not interested. What's this? It's a little horoscope. Cancer the crab. That's got some uh, paint missing on it, unfortunately. This is a really cute little narwhal planter. It's got a hole in the bottom, but unfortunately this just doesn't give me any room for profit as a reseller. Just checking through the mugs. This is Starbucks, little bird. I like this one, but I'm seeing it's got a massive chip on the edge there, so I'll have to leave that one. Starbucks used to be a really good pickup, but now they tend to price them higher and eBay is so flooded that I tend to leave them. This, on the other hand, is adorable. Look at this little puppy mug. He's got a raised relief face and ears. He's 99 cents, cute little tail definitely grab him. Little bunnies. Not really seeing anything else here. Christmassy one.
If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Lots and lots of clear glasses. I'm going to shine my black light on it, the whole shelf, and see if we can get any uranium glass to light up for us. Not today. I'm going to check this candlestick looking for any etchings or inscriptions that would tell me who makes it not seeing anything there look at these margarita glasses We've got little fellows sleeping under a cactus they're great i love that green shade and it looks like there's a set of four so that's absolutely perfect definitely going to grab these They cool. There's, there's four. Yes. I'm just looking down the aisle here, and I'm spotting an anchor hocking Lido Milano vase in the color that I love. It's the avocado green, and it's a dollar forty-nine, half off, seventy-five cents. It's funny because I just found one of these at the Rainbow Altar Goodwill for seven dollars. I didn't get it though. What is this? This is an odd thing. It doesn't glow. It's got a hole in the middle. I'm really not sure what that was, is. I wonder if something sits in the top there. That's a mystery piece. Look at this little panda. He's embroidered in a circular frame, $1.99. I'll take him. Some canisters, metals. Candle holders, tissue boxes. Look what Danny got. Look at those lamps. Oh and the horse. Oh my goodness. Oh, mine's not as full. Oh, I gotta go plug in this pink tree. Come with me to plug in this tree. Let's plug in the tree. Fingers crossed. Oh, hold go. on. Oh, it's... Oh, turn it on. Is it on? Is the... that... Yep, it's on. Power's on, but nobody's home. Oh! Oh, it's a bit... I'm glad I took it out because it's a bit funky anyway. It is a funky tree. Alright. Save some money. <laughs> I really like this little bedside lamp. It's got a bird with cherry blossoms on it. So sweet. Unfortunately, it's really, really, well, it's not even chipped. It's just got paint loss at the bottom, but it's only $3, half off, so $1.50. It would be so lovely with a sweet little shade. I'm definitely gonna grab it. I'm in the art and I'm just noticing these really old frames holding these really old looking, I think, are they charcoal? I think they might be prints, but um, they're really nicely done. There's an old lady and an old man. And uh, if you put them facing each other, it would be like they were a couple. I think that says 1935.
They're absolutely filthy. They need a really thorough cleaning. I love this chest of drawers. It's solid wood. It's absolutely beautiful. The brass fixtures are lovely. The hardware. Look at that solid wood. It's, it's white, fine furniture that's burned into the wood there. I wish I had a spot for this. <laughs> Look at this fellow all by himself over here. Hand carved wood. He's amazing. Those eyes look very white to me. I wonder what they're made of. Suspiciously like bone, I think. He's beautiful. What a great find for $2.99. He's definitely coming home with me. Here on my table is everything I found at Goodwill. And here is your weekly visit with Bandit. <laughs> Hello. Hello, sweet boy. Oh, he is so cute. First, we have this perfect little sign. The letters are raw wood and the background is painted. It's not shopping, it's retail therapy. I paid $2.99 and it was sent to somebody from Grace in 2015. This is the beautiful little bird lamp it's very vintage. It's a bird with cherry blossoms. It is a little worn on the bottom, but I value this right about $35. This was a great find. It's a candy cane tray made out of mango wood. Perfect for the holidays. It's a really good size for or d'oeuvres or nuts or candies. I paid $2.99. It still has its original tag and I value this at right about $35. This is a beautifully painted Mexican pottery mug. The flowers and the colors are just lovely. It's signed on the bottom. I paid $2.99 for it and I value it right about $20. This was also a fun mug. It's a cute little dog in relief. His ears poke up over the top of the mug and his tail is also raised. He was $0.99 cents, and I value him $12 to $15. I don't think I caught this one on camera, but this is a vintage mug, Rose Brand Coffee. I paid 69 cents for it, and this I also value $12 to $15. This is a gorgeous Roseville croc. Robinson Rams Bottom Pottery Company, Roseville, USA. It was $4.99 and I value this about $25 to $35. This is also a beautifully hand painted piece. It's left in China, it's the rose pattern. It says left in China hand painted and there's uh, a number there. I believe it's an egg cup and I thought it would be perfect to display painted eggs at Easter time. I paid $1.49 for it and I value it 
about 15 to 20 dollars. These were a last minute grab. These are um, Glenlivet Whiskey Tumblers. There's two of them. They have a really nice etched swirl in them. You can see the logo there. They paid $1.49 purple tag, so they were 75 cents each. And I value these about $25 for the pair. This is the sweetest little panda. I think he is um, stitched on silk. And he's a little worse for wear. You can see where the silk is um, either broken up or I'm not certain whether that was an intentional to look like bamboo. I'm really not sure but it's a lovely piece. He's beautifully stitched. Sorry about that glare. There we go. I paid $1.99 for him and I value him about $25. I found two pieces of what I believe are Mikasa glass. First was this lovely heart dish. I gave it a wash. Uh, it didn't have a price, but they gave it to me for $2.99. It has a floral etched pattern on it. And it's a nice heavy piece. Nice trinket dish or nut tray, nut dish, candy dish. I value that about $20. I think this oval serving dish is also a Mikasa piece. It has the look and it has the weight of Mikasa. I paid $2.99 for this one and I value it about $25. I picked up this little cloche because I thought it would be useful to display small items at the booth. It was 99 cents, it's glass, and if someone would like to purchase it, I value it around 12 to 15 dollars. These are fabulous. These are margarita glasses, and uh, there's a little fellow taking a siesta underneath a cactus on the base. They're really fun. There's a set of four of them. I paid $1.99 each. I value them about $15 to $20 a piece. I love this green pattern vintage glass. And I got this for a steal. It was $1.49, but on sale for $0.75. Cents. And this is going to go in my collection of this pattern. Last but not least, probably my favorite find of the day. I'm not sure if he's a yak or a water buffalo, but he's hand-carved wood. The detail in him is amazing. He's just fabulous. He's got uh, bone eyes. I don't know if you can see that. It's really nicely done. I paid $2.99 for him and I value him about $30 to $35. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the haul. If you see something you're interested in, please send me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. I'll see you soon. Bye.